everything I've just said up to now, it leads me to you. Oh, wait a minute. Peter, you think I'm talking about you, don't I? No. Or don't you? You're talking about the sheep, you. I'm talking about EWE. That's right. I got the, the memo. The, fe- the female sheep. The yeah. reason this is important is because everything that I'm talking about is literal. It's literary. And it's, and it's subject to a particular story. And it's the greatest story ever told. Um, and, and, and so, again, all of this leads me to you. And that's E W E. And in the Oxford Dictionary, E W E is a female sheep. And everybody's laughing at me right now. I can already hear them. <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> Kurt's lost his mind. No, I um, no, no. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you on a path that might not be too uh, 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 too enjoyable. Here we go. A, a female sheep. Okay, what is a sheep? This is out of Oxford uh, Oxford Dictionary. What is a sheep? Um, one is the one that we would all guess, a domesticated ruminant animal with a thick woolly coat, uh, um, curving horns. It is kept in flocks for its wool or meat, uh, and it's proverbial for its tendency to follow others in the flock. Mm-hmm. That's, now, wait a minute here. That's number one. Here's 1.1. 1. 1. A wild animal related to this, such as an argali, bighorn, and uriel. Here's number two. A person who is too easily influenced or led. The party members had become sheep, and she refused to be taken in. Let me say that again. That was just a sentence. A person who is too easily influenced or led is considered a sheep. Okay. Number three, a person regarded as a protected follower of God. 3.1, and it, this is the informal, it says a member of a minister's congregation. So if you don't think that you, when a judge looks at, looks right in your eyes and say, do you accept the charges? Yep. What is, what is he saying exactly? Is that, is that a way to position you as a, a, a follower of some doctrine, <clears throat> some idea, some story? I mean, do, have you seen the word he's actually looking at? No. Do you, do you actually, do you, Y-O-U, actually know what he's addressing or who he's dressing, addressing? Mm, most See, don't. I don't think so. No. I think that by you answering you, you're automatically put into a position of the sacrificial aspect of the sacrificial lamb. Um, but let's go back to this a second. It says a person regarded as a protected follower of God. And then there's an example in here, um, Luke 15, 6. And this is the parable of the lost sheep. Luke 15, 6, it says, um, And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I tell you that in the same way there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. I'm, I'm doing this because I'm trying to get back to the concept of the waiver as well. The middle stands of the waiver says, I re- and repent all transgressions against God. So again, it's funny that the parable of the lost sheep is back to the, the, the concept of you or being a member of a congregation or a person who's too easily influenced or led, um, and you can keep going all the way back up to an act of a private individual directed to the origin, termination, or alteration of a right. You realize that when that judge says, do you accept the charges, and you and, and you respond to him, is that a termination maybe of a right or an alteration of a right or an origin of a new right? Mm. Are you accepting the position of sacrificial lamb as the, as the uh, 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 surety or the guarantor for whatever's going on in that society, that great society? 